Welcome to November. So since this is the month of Thanksgiving, we are going to do a gratitude type of focus reading. Um, so number one, what are the general blessings that we're harvesting this month? Number two, what do I need to be grateful for in regards to health? career, finances, relationships, and then further um, from relationships, like how can I better express gratitude to others in my life? Um, we're going to look at what we should be thankful for in our love relationships or, you know, on our journey to finding those. And then how do I better express, you know, gratitude there as well? Um, looking at our spiritual and personal development path, what are the areas of um, thanks that we should be giving? there and then how do I better express gratitude to myself because you know hashtag self-care um, so this is gonna be a longer reading than usual for November but let's get started <laughs> Capricorn what are the blessings that you will be harvesting this month November they're saying finally some confidence this like excitement and enthusiasm yay they're like you are really glowing this month and everybody can see it like you are just walking into the room and everybody's staring at you in a good way. Yay. Okay, so what should you be grateful for in regards to your health? And they're saying, um, you know, some of you actually are not making the best decisions <laughs> regarding your health. Um, and I mean, the good news about that is it's not super detrimental to you yet as of now. But what they're saying is think about the direction in which you want to head. Like, what are some health goals that you have for the long term? And even just thinking about that is going to help you. So I read this study once that said something about, like, um, if you just think about doing ab work, like, you're actually going to burn calories and tone your abdominal muscles. Because our brain is thinking about it, it's sort of like contracting them. Not to the same extent, but you burn more calories and you tone your abs a little bit more just by thinking about doing exercises like sit-ups than not doing that. I mean, I don't know that you can get totally ripped that way, but a little bit more than if you didn't think about it. <laughs> so that's just a step in the right direction. Um, what should you be thankful for in regards to career? And they're saying that you have choices, that you have options, um, but you already know that. So celebrate that because at certain moments in time, we might not love our career, but like we know that we don't have to stay there. There's always a different path. Okay. Finances. They're saying be thankful that you are not stuck in um, a bad situation that you can't leave like anything like maybe okay for example maybe you have a really bad home that you're renting and it's just not working for you but you signed a lease you might think you're stuck but there's actually an out there's always an out okay and so they're saying like if you think you're stuck you're really not stuck they're saying that you already know that but like for some reason you're having a hard time believing it you're lying to yourself and so they're like you know, really, this is something to celebrate. There is a way out of any sort of financial contractual obligation or situation that we think we're tied to. You're really not tied to it. There is a way to get out of it. It's just about changing the way that we're thinking about things or like kind of looking from different lenses to find that way out, okay? Relationships that are not romantic. So this would be like friendships or family relationships. They're saying... Um, you know, there's a lot of fun to be had. It's like this childlike adventure sort of energy in those relationships and maybe making new friends even, um, welcoming new family members into our life. And they're saying awesome conversations, like these are really honest people, different kinds of people that you're attracting this month than um, the ones that weren't so good for, for you that you learned a lot of lessons from in the past. They're saying um, it seems like somebody like you'll be welcoming in like really balanced, awesome friendships. And it's not that maybe you've had kind of gross friendships in the past. Maybe you've had some that were, but um, it's like beautiful changes are coming in your relationships. And these are non-romantic relationships. So that could be like relationships are going to change for the better with a sibling or um, in an already existing friendship, but it looks like new friendships are on the horizon. So that's awesome. How do you better express gratitude um, to people in your life? And they just say by being um, stable and constant, like saying, hey, I'm always here for you. Hey, um, I really 
love just hanging out at home with you, doing kind of regular things. Like going to a friend's house to watch a movie sounds a little bit boring, but it's actually a great way to spend time with each other and bond in a positive way. Now, um, for those of you who are single, they're saying, um, yes, the home is a cozy place to be. And, you know, maybe you can just stay there and hope that things change. But they're saying it's not going to help you get laid, though. So if you want to stay in, you want to stay home, and that's working for you, and you don't mind being single, great. But, I mean, if you want to be bumping uglies with somebody, that's not going to work for you very well this month. So you're not going to um, get much out of you know, finding a partner or a relationship if you don't put much into it. And it seems like you might have to put effort in for a little while before it really pays off. But I think it's worth it, right? If that's what you want. Now, if you don't want a relationship, fine, do nothing. But if you do, they're saying, um, you know, really low key casual dates are going to work awesome for you this month as well. Okay, so looking at relationships, that are romantic, like if you're coupled, what should you be thankful for this month? And they're saying you're alone time, actually. <laughs> they're saying that when you have alone time, you're able to give more to your relationship when you come back together, and so is your partner, and so that's a big blessing. Um, it's like that whole concept of put your oxygen mask on first before you help other people. Um, it's that sort of thing. You both need a little bit of alone time this month, but you specifically need more alone time than your partner does so that you can come back to the relationship and have it grow and be beautiful and really appreciate the time together. If not, it might be a little bit of misunderstanding, a little bit of arguing this month that isn't really necessary because at the end of the day, you both love each other and you both want the same thing. Now, um, on the path of spiritual development or personal development, what should we be thankful for? Oh, goodness. They're saying, well, that's the problem here, guys. Some of you are uh, focused more on what's going wrong instead of what's going right. Now, it's okay to focus on what's going wrong for a second to identify the problem. So, Because if we don't know what the problem is, we can't fix it, right? But to stay in that kind of negative... Um, Sort of like, I'm not doing things right. Like, I really need to improve energy and then letting that debilitate you so that you can't take the steps to actually improve because, you know, you're so focused on like, ugh. Like, why can't I just do this? And then you're procrastinating. Kicking the can down the road isn't going to work. They're saying, you know, here's the thing. is This doesn't have to be a solo endeavor. You can ask a friend to help you, to help hold you accountable. You can um, join a Facebook group or something like that to help you kind of move down the path that you want to be on. Um, it could be like some sort of a challenge, like a gratitude journaling challenge. Or you can even ask your spirit guides and angels like, hey, can you help me like get motivated today to do these things that I want to do? And they're happy to do that for you. Anything else you want to say about that? They're like, look, um, emotional balance is the reward. A balance between enthusiasm and downtime is the reward. But some of you are not super balanced in that area and you're too hard on yourself. And they're saying, but that's a choice that you're making. It doesn't feel like it once you're in it. But you're consciously making that choice every single day. And so they're saying, you know, ask us for help. Ask a friend for help. Like, it, there's nothing that you really need to physically invest in. Like, it's not... So, for example, there's people all the time that want to um, let... So, hmm, I guess, like, a good example would be a business, even though we're talking about our own personal growth and development, but just because it's a good way to explain this scenario. So it's like, okay, I know I want to build a business. So I research all this stuff. I learn all this stuff. I spend this money on a website. I spend money on classes. I spend money on a graphic designer and having my logo and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, at what point am I going to fucking launch this and make any money? It's not important to have everything perfect in advance, like having all of this knowledge and stuff. It doesn't really do you any good if you never apply it right? And so that's kind of what they're saying is like, so you can sit here and read all these books, you can sit here and do this or that or the other, but like for what if it's not being applied? Does that make sense? And so in our spiritual development or our personal development, um, we can read a book on, um, you know, healthy eating, 
But if we don't actually follow the guidance, what good is it doing us, really? It's that sort of a thing. So don't be hard on yourself for not doing it. Just, you know, like Mel Robbins says, five, four, three, two, one, blast off, just go do something. And be proud of yourself for the efforts you're making, but ask other people to help you even either get started or to hold you accountable. They're saying it's really not as hard as we're making it up to be in our head. We're making it a bigger deal than it actually is, and that's what's keeping us stuck, okay? So that is November, and I'll see you in December, and I love you so much. And they're like, be honest with yourself about all that, okay? <laughs> love you.